No. All my food is perfect and brilliant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, just God. saying. Just saying. Oh, come just on. saying. My food's dope. I okay? must know. You <laughs> must have made something and thought yeah. that would be a lovely combination. And Burnt be like, it's glue. Once. That's about it. <laughs> so when are you turning up on Saturday Kitchens? <laughs> Where's your <laughs> Thank you for joining us. This is Unfiltered. It's the podcast where we talk about the unfiltered truth about parenting. And I think this is going to be a bit divisive, this topic. I'm a bit scared about where it's going to end. (laughs) Can food be good or bad? When we talk about different food types with our kids, Mm. should we be using those words? How do we feel? Sam, how how do you talk about food in your house? To me, food is just food. I don't try and put good food versus bad food, almost like it's a Game of Thrones episode and good food <laughs> is House Stark and and bad food is the other one of, one, of, one of the other houses. You have access to the food and everything in moderation is a good way to approach it so that there's never a, like a part of food or an element of your diet that's on a, that's on a particular pedestal. Yeah. But I will nip and tuck if I do see that like you're over indexing on packets of crisps or you're over indexing on X. But other than that. Strawberries, because they're really expensive at this time. <laughs> so oh, expensive. So oh expensive. my goodness. They go off within two days. Honestly. Yeah. Two days. Avocado. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Eat that quick. I yeah. Can't. <laughs> <laughs> the cost the cost of fresh food is a whole different Yeah. yeah. A, That's a, a whole different, different episode. Game. But I'm with you. We we're the same. We don't we don't attach like a moral thing to food. It is just this is what you need to eat to keep your body alive mm. and you know more of this less of this absolutely but I think it's, it's a dangerous game when you're like restricting a certain type of food because you don't want your child to attach like bad connotations for a certain food and deprive themselves if that if that's what they want um but I do think like it's good to give treats and I think stuff like chocolate and crisps and stuff like that are like nice treats and if you want it eat it have you started thinking of like how much of this have you started thinking about so far because like How? I, I don't. I think that if Sonny wants the chocolate, he he can have chocolate. Obviously, he's three months old; he can't have chocolate now. But like when he's old <laughs> enough and he wants chocolate, if I'm sitting there eating chocolate, I can't say you're not allowed chocolate. Like I don't deprive myself; I eat what I want, and so he can eat what he wants. Because obviously, he's not going to have a plate of chocolate for dinner. Like it's very dramatic. But if he wants some sweets after his dinner, he can have some. Because it starts at the get-go, doesn't it? Like, you have these arguments over, you know, breastfeeding, bottle feeding. Yeah. And then you enter the realm of weaning and suddenly yeah. that just explodes. Are you baby-led weaning? What's the what's the other one called? Oh, I like, don't even know. The one... Like, <laughs> are you turning it into whipping it up into smoothies? Puree. Puree, that's it. Puree, yeah. Um, yeah. Like, and everybody has an opinion on this is good, this is bad, don't put salt, don't do this, don't mm. do the other. Well, I'm neurotic, so he's going to be having purees till he's about 18. Just oh, in case right. he yeah, chokes. Yeah. No need for I can puree up the chocolate, it's fine. <laughs> mm. um, but yeah, I think, like, like Sam said, everything in moderation, like, if they want something, they can have it. I'm not going to say, no, that's bad, that's naughty, you can't eat that. Priscilla, you've been mightily quiet, which is unusual. <laughs> Where do you stand on this? It depends because you have to remember all kids are different. Um, some kids special needs, they can't eat certain things, mm. dietary, whatever. You have to, you know, but I'm just saying the average child, if you make no effort to make sure they have any nutrients a day, that's dangerous. But I think it's also picking your battles, right? Yeah. Like if it's been a if it's been a long ass day, your menu is going to be beige. Yeah. Mm. I'm going to whack it all in the oven. You may get a smattering of peas. Yeah. <laughs> you don't touch the peas. Yeah. Don't really give a fuck. Yeah. No, but there's always a reason. I prep. I prep every four days. You can prep. You've yeah. got no time. You, got time. you can put How have you got time? How can you Everyone's prepared? got time to prep. How have you got time? No. You've got time, of course. You've got time to watch a program. You've got time to prep food. I'm on maternity and Come I don't on. have time to prep. <laughs> Where is that? You know what? You know, it's, like, it's like a man that goes, I haven't got time. I'm busy at the moment. He doesn't like you. Okay. Whatever you want to do in life, you'll find time. Trust me. If you care about it, you'll find time. I had to do like it. a three day off sausage roll for lunch the other day <laughs> because I was just like had him hanging off one tit. I was like had sick on my hair. I was just like I don't have time to make a healthy meal. Mm. Like, I mean, obviously he's only three months. It might be different when I've got mm. like an eight year old. I probably yeah. have more time. Probably won't be. No, no it's, <laughs> it's, 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 I always say it's a choice. 
you've got time to say hi to someone, you've got time to make a dish. I don't see a pasta, a pasta <laughs> pesto with broccoli and whatever takes literally eight minutes. You are right. You've got you, no excuse. <laughs> you just you just don't want to make it. You it's that simple. Right. <laughs> but it takes Did ten you do minutes. This when he was a baby, though, hundred from when like he was a, a baby. crying baby. Yes, I made all his food. And I put them in the freezer and he had food that was made by me every day of his life. But what about before he was on solids? Like for yourself? Well, um, for me? Like oh, wait, like a queen. That's why I was slim. As soon as, really? as, soon as I stopped breastfeeding, I was... Oh, oh I, I don't have time to cook anything. I didn't even care what I ate. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, 100% when I was pregnant, I was like eating kale every day. And really? I wanted, yeah, I wanted to make sure that he had the best nutrients. So it was all about you, whatever you think is important. Some people will think, you know, exercising is important. So their children exercise. I don't exercise. So I don't obviously care about it that much, obviously. So he doesn't exercise that much. So I've had to make a conscious effort. For me, I'm never going to put myself and my child under the pressure of, I've gone, for, we've all had a long day. <laughs> it's time for tea. Am I gonna sit there for the next half hour, 45 minutes and row with you <laughs> about eating the carrots or the broccoli or whatever vegetables that I've put on there? Eat what you need to eat. If you're hungry after that, you're going to go hungry because I'm not mm. dealing with a snacking thing. I'm just yeah. going to give it that. And that for me, because I, I think a lot of, a lot of people put so much pressure on themselves and then that's where all of this competing comes through that you yeah. then want to almost show off, oh, I put myself yeah. under all of this pressure to do X, Y, Z. Yeah. Parenting is hard it enough is. as it yeah. is with all the outside noise, let alone you then doubling down on yourself yeah. to make yeah. it 10 times harder and then to bring it... a bit of broccoli. Yeah, to worry yeah. about... <laughs> yeah. It, uh, but that's what it boils yeah. down to. It boils down to a bit of broccoli or a bit of... Or, or broccoli or a smiley face, some fish <laughs> fingers, yeah, like, and away you go. Like, yeah. my son's obviously not on solids yet, and I, I I, do follow all the Instagram accounts of, like, baby weaning and pureeing this and that, and that is my plan of, like, doing these healthy prepped, you know, baby food. But, like, if there's a day when I'm, like, I'm just going to mash up a smiley face, like, potato <laughs> thing, because I haven't got it in me, yeah. then fair enough. Yeah. Like, It I comes think... down to you. You know what you're passionate about, because I'm passionate about food. Yeah, it's a, it's a must. But have you? What do you do on a day where you know you haven't prepped and you've had a, you've had enough? The day has been crazy. What is your quick grab? Mm. Tortellini and pesto, <laughs> tortellini pesto and broccoli takes under ten minutes. So that's my that's my quick meal. It's done. You don't have to worry about it. I hate that. Take six I minutes to you. boil. I yeah. hate that. I agree with you. Yeah, it's, it's true though. Yeah. It's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Do you know what I mean? It takes less than 10 minutes to make it. You can you can do it. You just decide not to. Desperate Would you not like just stop stop off at McDonald's on the way home? We yeah. don't eat McDonald's, no. Not even Happy Meal? No. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> but but really? I can make him the burgers. He likes it. But, but has he had a McDonald's before? No. See, I think that by removing any whatever that food is anything removing something and saying this shall not be had it sort of places it on a pedestal and then that food at some point becomes like like, uh, oh, yeah. like when I was a kid <laughs> growing up my parents were so strict mm. and it was we were only allowed crisps on a Thursday night. <laughs> Sorry, like, that's so like, funny. <laughs> we were, like, that was it, Thursday night crisps. Yeah, done. that's so cool. Um, <laughs> everything was like, has to be cooked completely yeah. from scratch and from fresh. And I went to university. Went wide, yeah, yeah. Like absolutely lost my mind. But it's a mentality thing. <laughs> but if Christmas you don't, on a Friday. You, I don't teach him. <laughs> Friday live in I don't dream. teach him that he's restricted. I teach him that he's privileged. So if you go, I'm privileged because I eat all this and my brain gets to live that much longer and I get to do all this stuff because the things I eat it's a mentality switch mm -hmm. I, but I don't even go to that level because I can't keep enough fresh fruit in my house for my kids mm. and their appetite but that's because it's just there go and grab it if you <laughs> want it right I, I don't I'm not putting it on any kind of pedestal it's just another it's another piece of food mm. that you yeah. enjoy so yeah. we probably go in my house through like three bunches of bananas in a seven day period yeah. and two packs of two packs of apples but then right underneath that is the big box of crisps that <laughs> yeah, you can dip yeah. you can you can help Balance. yourself you, you you can help yourself to as as and when you need because Mine's of locked because i think <laughs> it's just it's just too much you lost it. down 100 percent. i'm looking at lock that cupboard why? why because if you don't he'll just be taking it all the time but it's not it's not the you're not you're not keeping anything away from them if there is the balance there it's not like the healthy food is over there and the and the unhealthy food or the stuff that's frowned upon you yeah, 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 yeah. is is over there and untouched for me there's the kitchen 
all snacks are readily accessible. <laughs> like, if you want to go and pour yourself a bowl of dry cereal, yeah. go and pour yourself mm. a bowl of dry cereal. Yeah. If you want to go and have a banana, yeah. go and have a banana. If you want to have a yogurt, there's a stool right there. <laughs> Pull it up, get your yogurt, get your spoon. Well, I'll, All I ask is the yogurt pot goes in the recycling yeah. and not left on my sofa. And I, then I think everything in moderation. I think yeah, yeah. I think it's good to teach children. I, I think it's good like not to teach naughty food and good food. I I wear this because um, then I think like that's where you're getting into like dangerous territory of like this is really naughty mm -hmm. and I should feel bad when I eat this. Oh, yeah. I don't use that word. It's not about naughty. It's about what's going to kill you and what doesn't. But a bag of it comes not down to kill health. anyone. It just it does. It does eventually. It's not. I use those terms. And say by the way, that's going to kill you. I don't say that's traumatizing. Who does that? Weirdos. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> it does eventually kill you. What about sugars? Of the crisps? Yes, sugars and all that stuff, saturated things, processed stuff, does kill you. So kids should need to be aware of this and understand but equally, that it's not fun to if be you sick. Just eight carrots. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's, that's yeah. going to kill everything. You. Of course, but he doesn't eat carrots. He eats like twelve fruits and veg a day. That's no, not. I know, but what do you give him for a treat? A treat: a rice cakes and chocolate covered rice cakes. That's yum. When he leaves home, he is going wild. I don't think so. You know? you know what? Everyone to their own. And I've seen kids be like sheltered from things. And when they get older, they act like rebels. Mm. He doesn't. He gets it in moderation. Mm. Those things are fun for, for a second. Fine. But not to normalize it. It's not food. If you break it down, it's not actually food. Go read the packet. It's bullshit. Why would you get to your child? It doesn't make sense to me. Do you know what I mean? Like, why? I just feel like I can't tell my child not to go and eat chocolate if I'm sitting there eating it. 100. That's why I eat in my room. What's wrong with you? <laughs> What? Sorry, you're, so you're... Yeah, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm a parent. <laughs> it's, it's like this. Would you drink and give your child alcohol? No, because you know it's not for children. I've already gone through that stage. My organs are already formed. They're just forming. Mm. Why would you let them fuck up their bodies? Do you know what I mean? And give them all these things. Let them grow into people. And when they're people, then they can fuck up their bodies. <laughs> Question. Do you know what I mean? I hear you, I but... I don't understand. But what about like, yeah. his birthday and stuff? Do you give him birthday cake? No, of course, but he's vegan. Oh, God. <laughs> no, but, oh, no, he gets snacks, crisps, whatever he wants. I'm like, what do you want? He helped me pick these, his party bag. He was like, mm. never had those before. Yeah, but a minute ago, yes, he was like, what's the bad? Huh? A minute ago, eating crisps was bad. No, I, I've never used that word in my life. He said, said crisps will food. kill you. I said, it can. Of course it can. Eating junk food is dangerous to the body. We all know this. So if you eat things constantly and you normalise eating junk food, yes, eventually your, your cells start mutating, you get cancer and things like that. It's a fact. I don't go around every day telling him this because it's traumatic, mm -hmm. but it's a fact. It's not something we can debate. Or, you know, it's bad for you, 100%. But I just don't, he doesn't, he doesn't look at it like, oh, this is bad food. He loves eating vegetables and fruits. He thinks that's a treat. So it's a, as I said, it's a, it's a mindset. If you're teaching them that fruit... And vegetables are a reward, not chocolate. It's not a reward to kill yourself, is it? I would so it's, it's a mentality like thing. Food, food be food. Yeah, yeah food, I food. agree. I think everything. Well, it doesn't keep you alive. That those foods. But <laughs> I just don't know like if it's it, a fact that eating a bar of chocolate is going to kill you. No. Of course. Well, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's dramatic, right? <laughs> yeah. I know that one chocolate bar is not going to kill you, but if you normalise eating chocolate every day and you know things like that, yeah. Yeah, but, Eventually, it's, but, it's, know, but it goes. Try. But it goes back to balance. It goes. It goes. Yeah. Back, it goes back to balance ultimately. Like. If my child is continuously going to the the, the sweet cupboard or whatever mm, it is, yeah. then there's gonna be, then there's gonna be a conversation. Yeah. But I've got to a point where I haven't that I haven't had the need to have that conversation yeah. because food yeah. in my house is just food. food. Yeah, I yeah. And so you just you eat what you eat what is required yeah. at the right time. So yeah. when we're having a meal, you're gonna have a balanced meal. Yeah. Or it may be that. Me and mum have had a complete and utter shit day and I cannot be bothered. Mm. And the reality is, is we're all going to have chips and fish fingers. Absolutely. Yeah. We're Nothing all going to that at all. all. And, and it's like, places. if you've got a problem, if your child eating fruit or vegetables, then you could always say, look, if you eat that broccoli, then you can have some chocolate or something like that. Like, I, that made me wince. It made me physically wince. Because <laughs> parents used to say that. Well, I just, I don't know. I just don't like, I think if you say, if you have that, then you can have that. Then what you're saying is this tastes disgusting and this is, yeah, yeah this good is, point. I'm yeah. Do that either. Good. I've never had to bribe him with food. He just eats it like normal. Arthur will ask for I don't know a cake or something, and he might have it, but he will take a bite of it and then be like, "Actually, I'm going to put this in a Tupperware dish because I'm, <laughs> I've had enough." And I'm thinking, "Whose child are you?" <laughs> but, but like, but like, brilliant. That's that's yeah. like I couldn't be happier that he will 
equally, you know, quite often he chooses to take and eat like fruit at school mm. than he will to take chocolate or anything like that. Yeah. But ev- like like you were saying, Sam, food be food and everything yeah, is available. I yeah. <laughs> you well, weren't I've, a farmer. I've, you didn't I've, say <laughs> food be <laughs> food. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> but I had, I had issues with weight growing up. So I my parents were food be food and I had issues growing up with food. You know, you can't just eat what you want. If you think you can, then you're not going to have a great outcome. So, yeah. So we've been talking about food. So we're going to go specific with our parenting fails. We're talking cooking fails. Have you had any huge disasters? Like my main problem is that my brain doesn't stay on one thing at a time. (laughs) And so I vividly remember last summer some friends turning up with kids and it was about food time. The kids all needed feeding and I was too busy chatting and I burnt everything, not once, (laughs) but twice (laughs) because I just wasn't paying enough attention to what I'd put under the grill. And it was horrific because I was then like, Rob, get down to Tesco's (laughs) quick. We need more food. No, well, my food is perfect and brilliant. Oh, God. Oh, God. Just oh, saying, yeah. just saying. Oh, Come Just on. saying, my food's dope. Oh, okay? No, you <laughs> must have made something and thought yeah. that would be a lovely combination. And be like, it's glue. Once. That's about it. <laughs> so when are you turning up on Saturday kitchens? Where's your <laughs> Honestly, my food's never failed. Like all, all my nieces and nephews always come round to me to cook for them. And the thing is, all my food is normally like pesky or or vegan or veggie. I never I've never cooked meat. Um not coming around your house for dinner. No, but <laughs> they all love it. They all love it. They're like, oh, it's Mexican night. Like, let's go to Auntie's. <laughs> You wouldn't, you wouldn't ask to go to auntie's to have, you know, Mexican night. Do you know what I mean? Like, if you didn't yeah, want if you it, didn't want it. Yeah. So like five bean tortillas, quesadillas, <sighs> like nachos. I make everything fun. Okay, so the parents really... I align with. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I um I was babysitting. Obviously, I'm not cooking for Sunny yet. So, but I was babysitting some kids. Like, I was probably about twenty at the time. So a long time ago, and um, the mum asked me to cook them pasta, and they left it all out. She left it all out and told me like what to cook. So I put the pasta in the pan, forgot to put the water in, turned it on, carried on playing with them. I was like, oh, it smells something weird. Obviously, the whole pasta was burnt and still rock hard because there was no water in there. It, there was, it was just black pasta now. <laughs> but there was no pasta left. So I was like, I have to feed these kids. So I added the water, I cooked it anyway, still black pasta. These poor kids, they were sitting around the table, <laughs> bless them. They were so polite. They ate it, like oh. chewing this black <laughs> Oh my god. I know. Goodness. That was the biggest fail I've had because obviously I'm an amazing chef now. But yeah, they are it, bless them. But I didn't get asked to babysit for them again. <laughs> <laughs> so they might be dead. I just don't know. <laughs> Who knows? But yeah, that's the, that the only fail I've had. Sam? I made some rasta pasta at home, which has got jerk seasoning in it now i always make my jerk seasoning and i do one one that is kid friendly oh no and one that is me friendly and i got the jars mixed up and so (laughs) took my daughter it was me my daughter took a bite and i literally saw her life flash before her eyes oh god as then her nose started to stream her eyes started to stream as the scotch bonnet just hit the back of her throat character building yeah 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 yeah. so yeah she's that's that has to be the most epic fail so far that's a good one so we've been talking about food. What happens when you go to somebody else's house for dinner? And perhaps it's just the kids going or perhaps you're going to. How much sort of control do you have over what gets eaten? Do you say anything? Do you get involved? Because we had a situation recently where on the way home from like this huge family weekend, my cousin's son said, can we go again? But maybe with different food, <laughs> um, which was nice and awkward for me. I thought I'd done a lovely job of the cooking. <laughs> um, but how like how involved? Priscilla, I imagine you get yeah. way involved. I pack everything. Everything. So, you know, it's so weird. He's had fruit bowls since he's been like a year old. And I saw he I showed him a picture of him when he was young. He was like, Have I been eating this since a kid? I was like, Yeah, every day of your life you've had a fruit bowl. So like when he goes to his aunt's fruit bowls, breakfast already packed, lunch, dinner's already packed, everything. I'd get so offended if someone came to my house with a packed lunch. Yeah, nah. I would. My sister has my mentality. Her kid eats the same. So when she when he when she brings her son to mine, everything's packed. Why should you inconvenience other people for your child being there? But what about if it wasn't someone who knew you really well. What if uh, he was going to like a family friend, like one of his friend's houses or like a birthday party or 
where you didn't necessarily have control over what was being said. Well, the people that I know um, ask, like, what does your child eat? And they don't, they won't just give children anything that they wanted, they would ask. So when we do that, we'll say, okay, he's vegan or he's veggie, get that. And they, they order or they make whatever. Um, and we all accommodate each other. I think that's human, you know. Um, so I've never been worried about him at ch uh, children parties because they know what he can eat. And I'm always there. I never leave him anyway, so... I think eat what you're given. I think if you go to a kid's party, that's like part of the fun is the pineapple and cheese on a stick. Do you know what I mean? It's like, not fun when your kid has diarrhea. So. I'm not going to get diarrhea from that. Yeah, the party. If, if they're lactose, if they're lactose, you can't oh just give them dairy. God. Eat what you eat, guys. No, you give can't them eat dairy. Give cocktail sausage. That's yeah. like, I think, yeah, eat what you're given. It's manner, like, man not saying that it's not manners. That yes, you did. Yes, she is. <laughs> and it's okay. I've had therapy. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, yeah. I can, I can tell you, I think I would be offended if somebody... Unless they're vegetarian, they... obviously, I understand. Like, I'm not going to say go around your mate's house and eat a roast chicken. <clears throat> exactly. But why Stuff are vegetarians like important? Everyone's important, right? If you want your kid to eat certain something, you have to respect it. It's just, that's it. But if my child's been invited to someone's house for dinner, I would kind of trust them to cook the trust dinner. you're just not going how about that <laughs> you're not going if you don't agree with me you're not listening to me that's what i want to be in my child's so you body expect your child to sit there for a different meal to everyone else they wouldn't do that or sometimes it happened it has happened once they ordered him sushi that was so kind <laughs> i mean i would always ask like if we yeah. had kids know, i would always say to the parents we were thinking of doing this for dinner but do is this something that, that they yeah. like um, if not i'm totally happy to do something yeah. else yeah um, it's not noticeable changes like his last friend party everyone had ham and cheese sandwiches this made him a cheese sandwich yeah, it's not like hard. you don't feel ostracized for mm. dean eating differently not like, can not you order meat. him some sashimi please <laughs> yeah could you imagine <laughs> i would love to do that i wouldn't i think it's rude i don't want to like out, take people out and make them spend more money on my kid or anything yeah. but just know that that's not what i like to go into his body please respect it and if you don't he ain't coming it's that simple my my daughter is my daughter doesn't like surprises so <laughs> yeah. it's always about so what's on the menu yeah at whoever's house they're going to yeah. so her and her bff they always like especially over half term oh you're going to your friend Gemma's house and so this is what Gemma's mum is going to cook are you okay with that because as, lo as long as she's aware there's never good. The there's, no, yeah. there's never yeah. good. There's, no, there's never good. There's never good. I think a lot of kids are probably quite yeah. like that. Aren't they'll eat, she'll, she'll eat away, but I, I don't really put any imprint in terms of what there are in terms of restrictions. My mm -hmm. son has got a dairy allergy, so as long as that's communicated, that's it. But other than that, you're there. You eat what you eat. eat. What you you eat. What you're given. Because yeah. when I grew up, I ate what I yeah, ate what okay. I was given. Yeah. And and that's the way that it's I. It's like go. we're having dog for dinner. Then yeah. like, yeah. you know exactly. what I mean? Then just like, just like exactly. even then, I'd be like, well, that's what you're given. <laughs> so you eat that dog. <laughs> 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 you, know, if you, you know, if you're gonna eat a sausage, just yeah. eat, eat a dog. Oh that's God, I think we've gone too far. <laughs> Just a little bit. It's always, it's always, it's always packing her bag as we speak. I'm like, it's all oh. balanced. It's all, it's all to balanced. get away from these people. <laughs> They're meat eating so. <laughs> <laughs> like if it's acceptable to eat it, and I say this is a meat eater like if it's acceptable to go to someone's house and let your kid eat steak yeah. why can't they eat it's true roast cat <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> not my cat <laughs> no comment